Hello everyone. Welcome. In this video, we are going to fix a common problem in ModelSim, the dreaded empty work library. This happens when ModelSim can't find or create the work library, which is where your compiled code usually lives. It's frustrating, but easily fixable. Let's dive in and get your simulations running again. First, let's understand what the work library actually is. Think of it as a folder where ModelSim stores the results of compiling your VHDL or Verilog code. If this folder is missing or inaccessible, your simulations won't work. Now, the most common cause is that the library hasn't been created yet. ModelSim doesn't automatically create the work library. You need to tell it to. Open ModelSim and go to the Library tab. If you don't see it, go to View then Windows and then Library. Right-click in the Library window and select New then Library. In the Library Name field, type Work. In the Physical Name field, you can either leave it blank. ModelSim will create a folder named Work in the Project Directory. Or you can specify a custom path to a folder you want to use. Click OK. Now you should see the work library listed in the library window. Next, you need to map your code to this library. This tells ModelSim where to put the compiled code. In the ModelSim console window, type the command map work work. This command tells ModelSim to map the logical name work to the physical directory also named work. If you used a different physical name when creating the library, replace the second work with that name. After mapping, recompile your VHDL or Verilog code. Use the com command for VHDL and vlog command for Verilog, followed by the name of your file. For example, com my underscore design.vhd or vlog my underscore design.v. Check the console output for any errors during compilation. Another potential issue is file permissions. Make sure you have read and write access to the directory where ModelSim is trying to create the work library. If you're using ModelSim in a shared environment, this is especially important. Also, ensure that the project path does not have spaces or special characters. ModelSim sometimes struggles with paths that are not standard. Move your project to a simpler path if needed, like c colon backslash my underscore project. Finally, try restarting ModelSim. Sometimes, a simple restart can resolve temporary glitches that prevent the work library from being created or accessed. Also, consider updating ModelSim to the latest version if available. Updates often include bug fixes and performance improvements that can address these kinds of issues. If you've tried all these steps and the work library is still empty, double-check your ModelSim configuration and project settings. Make sure that the correct files are included in your project and that the simulation settings are configured correctly. Okay, that's it for fixing the empty work library in ModelSim. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider supporting the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more tutorials like this one. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Your support helps me create more content.